lineup now consists of Andy Davis playing piano, mellotron, me playing guitar, Crum playing bass, Mutter playing flute, Mike Evans plays violin, and John White plays drums. We've got much better amplification, of course, nowadays, because we have a little bit more money. And um, everything's become much more streamlined and more easy to manage as far as equipment goes. As far as the music becoming, if you like, a bit more rocky or beaty, it's just a trend, I think, perhaps towards the piano away from the guitar. Because over the period of three years, the, the composers and the, the musical composers of the group um, have been leaning more heavily on the keyboard side than before. Three years ago, it used to be almost entirely guitar-oriented, I think. But now it's probably 60-40 with an emphasis on, on uh, keyboards composition. And perhaps this is um, contributory to the fact that there is a more definite beat behind a lot of the songs that we do. Perhaps a more recognizable beat. Perhaps influences like our, our favorite groups probably coming through even more in this than before. But I think obviously you're, you're always bound to, to show your influences. And you have to be a mirror of your influences anyway, whatever you're doing. so much better this time, we're very pleased with it because the trouble with the first two LPs we, we sought was the production, we never had enough time to spend on it and we never had the right kind of producer really. We had to go on the second LP, it, co-producing it with a very experienced engineer but that still didn't have the sort of magic quality of an expert engineer, of an expert producer but fantastically enough George Martin agreed to produce his third LP and so we've been doing it with him and the results have been quite astonishing, I was really chuffed about it. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of popularity, the, um, I think the concert going public um, like us very much, but um, the record buying public, as, as far as Stackridge go, we're not a household name, we're not terribly popular, but we have to put that right soon, I hope. Um, we've been classed as being top of the second division as far as groups go, and due for the promotion into the first. That was, I, I haven't said that, anymore. somebody else said that. And um, I think we all go along with that at the moment, but, you know, next year, perhaps, we might be double the first. <laughs> the reaction of audiences, on the whole, has got bigger and better. Uh, sometimes boozier, which is sometimes a drawback. Just gathering momentum, I think. We can only play 90 minutes every night, and we have so much new material to put in that we must be constantly changing the, the material, the, uh, the repertoire. Um, unfortunately, this creates a lot of uh, unhappiness and disappointment in a lot of people who come to see us quite frequently, um, which is just unfortunate because uh, they go a bit disappointed because they didn't hear Slark or uh, Tea Time or 
close to the penguin. But um, this is this is inevitable. I think. I enjoy uh, performing in front of an audience, mainly because of the energy that there is when you're playing on stage. And it gets very exciting. Musically, it's very hard to play well on stage because of the slightly impure sound of the amplifiers, and it's hard to keep in tune. So that's why it's so nice recording, because you can be very selective, and if you play a song that's not in tune, or something's a bit slow, you can just play it again. It's more spontaneous when you're on stage. I think a true representation of what people are really like, whereas in a recording studio, you only pick the best out of the music, you know, you leave all the mistakes out, do it again, you get it right. It gives a bit of a false impression at times, or it can do anyway. Well, you get to see this when you're in Durham, isn't it? Yes, good.